Hey, you barriers, what's going on? This is Jason Davis with Davis Sunglasses. So I want to talk about something a little strange that I've done uh, today. Um, I don't mind taking returns. Of course, nobody would rather take a return, but I will take a return if the glasses aren't what you like and maybe you'd like to buy another pair. And um, I really hope there's not going to be anything wrong with the glasses. Uh, sometimes the glasses don't fit the person correctly. Uh, everybody's got a different shaped head. Um, sometimes you get some weird accusations. You say, hey, the, these glasses were made for a child. It's like, maybe your head's really big and you need to buy glasses off the shelf instead of off the internet. But, uh, so, a customer bought some glasses and um, they asked to return them. They said that they just didn't like them, which is fine. So, the glasses get shipped back and... I got the glasses. It took me a day before I opened up the box. Open up the box, and I got a couple of rules. It needs to be in the plastic bag that it came in. It needs to have the hang tag. I would prefer the stickers to be still be on them. I'll be okay if it's not. The hang tag can be cut off and still and still be stuck in the bag. And I'll be okay if the hang tag's not even there. I get it. But, and, let's say you just send me back a pair of glasses. I can come up, I can, I can deal with it. But, you send me back a pair of glasses, loosen the box. Yeah, there was a piece of paper in there with it. But here's the deal. It looked like you had been eating fried chicken and... Put your hands all over the lens as many times as you possibly could. That's zero respect for me. I gave you your money back. Didn't say anything about it. I blocked the buyer. I don't want to do business with somebody that doesn't have any respect for me. Um, I wish you well. And uh, I hope you find glasses that you like in the future. But that is the first time I've ever blocked anybody. Because that's the first time anybody has basically took their fried chicken hands and put them all over the glasses before they stuck them in the box and sent them back. Absolutely filthy. What would you do if you were a seller? Um, and what have you done? Because that was a new for me. I've never blocked anybody from buying from me before. I should have. There are some people that I should have blocked. Um... But um, tell me about your experiences. If you like this video, like it, subscribe it. Um, I need to get back to making some sunglasses reviews. Sales have been really slow here lately. We're talking like a pair a day, maybe two pair. Um, I've been notified about some new product coming out from Ray's. It looks pretty cool. And um, some metal framed aviator sunglasses. Uh, I'll probably make a video showing some pictures of that. that will be a little short one because I've just got a couple of pictures. And, um, hey, I hope y'all have a great weekend. And, hey, I wasn't trying to be rude or anything about the glasses thing, but come on. It's about, it's about respect. Um, it goes, works both ways. Hey, y'all have a great weekend. Bye. Hey, I was just looking at my feedback while I go. I forgot to add this. The buyer did give me a positive feedback and a 10 out of 10 five stars uh hassle free return bye y'all hey it's fried chicken glasses um <laughs> i just washed them up i'm gonna use them myself all right y'all have a good one this was a max five with a uh it's kind of got a gunmetal gray uh finish matte black i mean matte kind of like a matte finish didn't mean to say matte black but it also has a hd lens uh pretty nice glasses if you'd like a pair uh i've got them out there on ebay i've got them this these are the max five I've got, them, <clears throat> got them a couple of different colors the max only have the hd lens but I also have them as a, a raise light l-y-t-e so i've got them in several different uh frame colors and lens colors on the raised light all right y'all have a good one bye so just editing that video 
and uh, putting it together and the picture at the end, the clip on the washing machine, the sound effects on the washing machine are, are hilarious. Y'all, I'm sorry it's so unprofessional, but you know, it's what I got to work with. So um, I hope y'all have a good one. Maybe it'll give you a good laugh. Later.